Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Chloe, and welcome to my channel. Today is the second episode of a new video series I am doing called Coffee with Chloe. Coffee with Chloe is a new video series every Sunday on my YouTube channel where I chat with a creator who I've met during my photography journey. Last week, I chatted with Stephanie Palmisi Photography, the first female photographer I had met and worked with. And this week, I'm chatting with Patty Ann Photography, who is is the second female photographer I met and actually was able to pursue an internship with her. Last year, during my senior year in high school for our last term, I got to intern for her and it was the most incredible experience and I am so grateful for everything I've learned from her during that internship program. The internship program with Patty Ann Photography was absolutely incredible and I'm so, so grateful for that experience. I knew right away when I had this idea to start this video series where I talk to creative people who I've met in the past few years, I knew I knew I wanted her to be involved in this project because she has been such a big part of my photography journey. So I don't want to talk too much because I want you guys to be able to hear and watch our conversation as soon as possible. We talk a lot about the story behind her photos and how she got into uh, photographing ballerinas. One of my favorite parts about her work is the ballerina photography or dance photography. It's so beautiful the way that she captures images. And we also chat about the story behind her motto, stay happy. I'm gonna stop talking right now, but check her out on Instagram at Patty and Photography. That is going to be in the description box below as well as her website. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Hearthaven. I also am putting that in the description box and check out my website as well. So without further ado, Patty and Photography. And thank you so much for talking with me today. I'm, and thank you so much. I think it's, I, what I'm really trying to do is just have like, just conversations with different, you know, creators that I've interacted with over the years. And so last week, my first video was with um, a photographer, Stephanie, who I met a few years ago. And basically how it's kind of going is I've been like, I basically listed a bunch of different people that I've met over the years who are either photographers, filmmakers, sculptors, anything like that, just creators in general. I ended up just naturally writing everyone's names down in the order of which I met them like through, throughout the years, like in my, you know, photography journey. And um, so I was like, I definitely need to talk to Patty because you were such an important part. I'm so happy that I got to intern with you. I mean, seriously though, like, Oh, that I'm so bummed that uh, seniors can't do that this year because that's seriously like it was such oh. an incredible experience. Such an incredible experience. You know what I should do, Chloe, is I should just go downstairs and get your wooden picture and bring it up here and put it on the stand behind me. <laughs> right? Are you sure? Should you I? Do you want to put put it on hold? Because you could edit that, right? Yeah, you want to do it. You want to go get it? it? Sure. All right, hold on. <laughs> All right, give me a minute, because this is oh three flights now. That <laughs> I know, I was just, when I was hearing you go down the stairs, I'm like, oh my God, that's a lot of work. Three oh, it's, flights. It's three stairs, so hold on. <laughs> oh my God, I remember that day. That is crazy. Oh my God, I love that picture. <laughs> that place was so cool. Wicked tulips. Oh my God. So I have, I have a few questions for you. Okay. And... Before um, I get into my main questions, I did, I didn't want to forget to talk about your, your motto, stay happy. Can you explain, I love the story behind this. So can you explain that um, for me? Cause I just think it's such a beautiful story. It is. Um, so my cousin, Kristen, who lives in Maine, she has a, just two daughters, Avery mm -hmm. and Sydney and Avery is autistic. And, um, but she calls me auntie Patty. So I'm like her auntie. Yeah. And um, she's very repetitive. So whenever I'm with her, she'll always say, Auntie Patty, are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? And I say, yes, Avery, I am happy and I'm going to stay happy. And she'll ask me that over and over, like all day long if I'm with her. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it just became a thing. And yeah. so I just kind of ran with that because she's so special to me. Both of them, Sydney and Avery, are special to me and my cousins. Mm -hmm. I love my cousins. Um, but Avery just, I don't know, it just clicked with me. Like, 
you know, I, I just kind of like wanted to go inside her head. Like if you could just be happy all the time, like she's always smiling and just always happy. And she just always says, Auntie Patty, are you happy? And I'll say, yes, Avery, I am happy and I'm going to stay happy. I and love it. Just, it. Yeah, so. I love that. And I can honestly see, like, I see that in your photos too, just, and I wrote down, like, cause I spent a few minutes just looking through your photos and just kind of observing them and what I felt when I looked at them. And, uh, and I really do like, I feel very happy when I look at your photos. I feel like there's so much life and there's so much happiness in them. And do you feel happy when you see that picture of you? I do. I do. Cause <laughs> I think about that day. <laughs> I love that picture. <laughs> it was a fun day. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And I just love that. I love how you know, I think about stay happy all the time. And I think about that story. It's important, you know, to feel grateful for what you have. And um, I don't know, I just, I love that. I really love how I'm you so write glad that. I love that story because like, yeah. I love that story and I love telling it. So my first question, going back in time a little bit. Um, so how did you get into photography in the first place? I was the mom with the camera. Love it. <laughs> Legit. Mom love with the camera. That. I love that. And I, I was a court reporter. I was a criminal oh, court reporter. Yes. yes. So, such a different, such a different yeah, thing. <laughs> from criminal court reporting to newborns and ballerinas. <laughs> um, I'm very Quite extreme, as you know, or, as you know, <laughs> interning for me. I'm very extreme from one extreme to the other. Um, so I was a court reporter. Um, I was a single mom. And I just took pictures of my kids all the time. I just wanted to document their life. I took pictures of their sports in the backyard, like just, and I didn't even, I had like a point and shoot. Yeah. Didn't even know how to use it. Always had it on automatic and thought my pictures were awesome just because they were <laughs> my kids. And, you know, and then I just um, started that. That's basically how I started. Yeah. And then, you awesome. know, football, I always did, you know, Marshfield youth football for my son mm -hmm. and rugby. And my daughter played um, softball and then AAU softball. So I was always at tournaments. So it kind of started out with sports photography in my yeah. kids. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. So at what point were you like, you know, oh, I want to, I want to do this like for real, like all the time and open up a business and get a studio. Like when were you, when did that kind of point happen in that shift? So I, I always kind of thought about it, but as a single mother, I needed a steady paycheck. Yeah. And photography is, photography is, you know, very, you don't know if you're going to make it or you're not, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, so it was always in the back of my head, but just always needed a paycheck. And then yeah. um, as my kids got older, um, I got my first paid job. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I'm going to throw the name out there because she is awesome. And I love her. Michaela Edwards was my first mm -hmm. high school senior, my first job, um, my first paid job. And I always bring her up. Um, she's just an amazing girl. And I just did her brother's um, 21st birthday during COVID-19. Oh, and he wow. was one of my son's best friends growing up. So she oh. was my first paid job. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I can do this. So yeah. I, um, four, almost five years ago, I got married and I talked mm -hmm. to my husband about it. I got remarried, talked to my husband about it. And, um, and I was really scared because I, you know, I had a full-time job, a good paying yeah. job. And I'm like, I just want to do it. And my son, my daughter went to college. My son went to college back to back. And mm -hmm. my timing is always impeccable. <laughs> so why not while you have a freshman and a sophomore in college? Yeah. <laughs> Leave your full-time good paying job to just start a business that you have no idea where it's going to go. Yeah, and I like, like that. He, he basically gave me a year and said, yeah. make it work and we'll see what happens. Yeah. And I'm making it work. I so, love that. I love that story. That is so awesome. <laughs> I told, um, you know me, I'm extreme. Like, I, you know, I could have waited until they graduated college when there's no, you know, student loans. And I, but I'm, why would I do that? Yeah. And you know what I love about that is like, I feel like so many people struggle with that. Like they'll use that, you know, I mean, it's a good, it is a good excuse. You can get away yeah. with it. But if you keep making that an excuse, it might never happen. It might and never happen. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like that's such a good, a good, you know, backstory, because a lot of people are in that kind of position. There are know? so many people that are just afraid to make that leap. And, and yeah. I was one of them. But, um, you know, it, and don't get me wrong, I did not have a ton of money in the bank, like, mm -hmm. to back me in case I fell on my face, like, I just yeah. shot from the hip, and um, just, I don't know, I, I just, yeah. 
taking pictures set my soul on fire. And I'm like, I just have to do this. And, you know, I love that. Yeah. I love that. I love that. So how did, how, since that, you, since that moment where you decided to um, open up a business, how has your business evolved over time? Like it could be, you know, uh, as far as clients or style or just the way you take pictures, anything, just how has it evolved from then to now? Oh my gosh, it is so evolved. I'm actually in the middle of rebranding right now. And Chloe, as you <laughs> interned for me and you know what I'm like on the computer, it is a huge struggle. Oh my God. It's a huge it. struggle. <laughs> so I am trying to do my own rebranding and um, I will share my picture with you, not on here because I want it, but when we yeah, go, yeah. Off, I'll share no, it with I totally you. get it. Yeah. Um, and show you how, what I'm rebranding my business around. It's still going to be stay happy. Mm -hmm. um, that will always be my kind of motto, logo, tagline, yeah. whatever you want to call it. But um, mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of rebranding. But how I evolved, I, I don't know. I just put one foot in front of the other. And I started with yeah. seniors. And then someone would ask me to shoot a wedding. And then someone asked me to do a headshot. And then someone asked me to do, you know, this and that. And um, I just kind of photographed a whole lot of things. And yeah. Um, and I always tell the story too. Um, I have a mentor. Um, she's my photography and my business mentor, Ian Lyle. She's an amazing mm -hmm. photographer in Framingham. You've yeah. Yeah. She's that. awesome. So, you know, she used to call me like, the, you're just like a general surgeon, Patty. You know, you don't have to, because I'm like, everyone keeps telling me I have to choose one thing and do either newborns or do headshots or be a wedding photographer or be, you know, a high school senior photographer. And I don't want to. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. you're just like a general surgeon. So I have honed it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I love, 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 love dancers. Yeah. And I have never been a dancer. I am the least graceful person, as you know, <laughs> ever. <laughs> but... I, I don't know, there's something about athletes, dancers. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love, and I, my high school seniors will always be my thing, but like, yeah. and I love newborns, but I just love the dancers. Yeah. I don't know, there's something. That. And it's, a, it's hard to break into that, but I'm mm -hmm. trying, you know, and I went to a, um, a conference in Arizona, it was their first inaugural conference. Mm -hmm. um, I can't even pronounce it, how embarrassing it was like. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I get um, <laughs> and it was it was small it was like 250 people and I usually go to I, well, I did go to imaging which is like 10,000 people in January mm -hmm. and then two weeks later I went to this where there was only 250 people and so it was so it was really hands-on and I met yeah. amazing photographers like dance photographers like Rachel Neville um awesome. Taylor of Paris Maurice from Australia who was amazing so all these so photographers, cool. yeah, and um, and learned from them, and I'm still learning from them. And I actually <laughs> took a ballet class online the other. <laughs> no, you did not. Did you really? Sleep oh. in my house. It was like midnight, and I found it on Netflix. And I'm like in my living room in my pajamas doing a ballet class, and I I'm like, that. you legit oh are out of your god. mind. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. But I just love how you just put yourself out there, and you're like, I'm gonna learn this. Like you want to learn something, you're like, I'm learning it. That's it. I don't care. I'm doing it. And I and love that. was that. the advice they gave me. I said, what can I, what is the best thing I can do to learn? Because there's so many, I mean, you were here when we were shooting ballerina, photograph, yeah. stop saying that, photographing ballerinas. Yeah. You were here when, you know, um, Juliet was here. Yeah. And I was like, can you do that thing where you put your leg here? And you, you know, yeah. so I was asking these photographers, like, what's the best thing for me to do to learn these? Because I bought a book and it's really, mm -hmm. because it's in French. Really yeah. hard. Oh, like, wow. I'm, yeah. <laughs> And they said, take a dance class. Just keep taking dance classes. And I'm like, I love that. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. I just think that, I mean, that really inspires me because just knowing that you, you know, just the process of being like, I want to learn something and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to like talk to the people who know, you know, what they're doing or can give me advice on it. And then you just do it. And I just think that's awesome. That's really awesome, Patty. Yeah. It really is. Thank and you. No, seriously. And now that speaking of the ballerina photos, I'm going to share my screen right now. We're going to look at some of them. I literally, oh my God, I love them okay. so much. And I have a favorite. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. And let's see here. Okay. 
can you see this screen? Yep. Your Instagram? Okay, perfect. All right, so this is my, I was just scrolling through, and this is, I, oh my god, this photo, Patty, is like, it's absolutely incredible, and I remember seeing it the day you posted it, and I loved what you wrote about it, too, about being so drawn to the photograph, and I was like, I was so pulled in, like, I mean, it's beautiful, and did you, where did you take this picture? Was it? By right the dumpster. By the, under, see, that's under a street light. <laughs> that's what I love. I knew it, too, because I love how you're able to, whatever environment you're in, wherever you are, you're able to, like, take a photograph, and it's it's incredible. It could be right by the dumpster. Like, the dumpster so, could be right next to her. And that, and that was a street light. Um, that's so awesome. that's why I educate myself. So, you know, yeah. as a photographer, I need to learn to photograph in any situation. Yeah. And you, you know, it's, I mean, it, it gets very stressful sometimes. Like mm -hmm. if, you know, if you're going somewhere to photograph someone and you don't know the lighting or you're doing yeah. a wedding and you don't know the light and like, it gets stressful if you have to put a flash yeah. or set up lights and, you know, in the moment. So, you know, I go to these conferences to learn to, you know, photograph in any light. And this girl, um, is Tess Colton. She is, um, my husband's cousin's daughter. And mm -hmm. she goes to the dance workshop of Hanover and she's oh, wow. awesome. She yeah. has um, a sister, Sydney, who was in one of these pictures as well. Um, mm -hmm. But well, I just gave them some smoke bombs and we went out back and it was dark. And I'm like, all right, there's a street light. Let's do this. And I love that, I love that picture too. And That's there's so, so many where she's like on point and like her lines yeah. are straight. And if you know that, if you know dance yeah. photography, you'll know about lines. Yeah. Uh, but this photo, and it's so funny because I was just watching a video that I think her, I think Sydney, her sister took mm -hmm. the other day while doing this session, the shoot. And mm -hmm. I love that picture too. It does it. So and I'm just reading it. I'm like, it does make me smile from ear to ear. And I hope it makes yeah. her smile. So oh fun. my God. It made me smile. I'm like, oh my goodness. The color, the smoke bomb, the everything about it, the way that it's lit is so beautiful. And I just, I knew when I looked at it and I saw the ground, I'm like, did she she totally took this right by her, by by the dumpster and she no, pulled it out so well. by the dumpster it's like I the know. water cooler in offices <laughs> i know right i love it it's oh my god it's definitely one of my favorites for sure okay. and this one this so. one too i had to i was like i just scrolled through and i'm like oh my god this one i'm so mad at you about and don't get the part out I know, I know. um I so regret. this was a class that you and i and nicole this was um yes. my other intern from norwell Mm -hmm. um we're taking and she was a gymnast and you mm -hmm. are a crossfit instructor <laughs> and um i'm throwing it out there chloe was a little too shy to do it i <laughs> i know <laughs> so i i wasn't mad at her but like secretly i was mad because i really knew she was gonna love these pictures after um so but we'll do it this we'll do it when yeah, this is over i will i promise i'm not as shy as i was <laughs> right I, I think it was like the unknown too you didn't know what to yeah. expect so yeah, yeah. this picture was done during a class um, that we took on lighting and gels and you were with me and yeah. that's Nicole and there were two side lights shooting in on her and they were just um, two strobes and I, I don't know. I think they sprayed, they sprayed water. Oh, were you spraying say, water or were the two guys spraying water? No, the two guys were spraying water. Yeah, so they were spraying water in front of the lights and then yeah. we just had gel. We had blue on one side and yellow because it kind of yeah. matched her outfit. Yeah. So, so and I so love cool. this. I should have brought that picture up too and put it I know, right there because I one. printed that on metal and it looks amazing. Yeah, I love this one. Everything about it, the colors, it's just like, and then it makes you just wonder you know, even though I was there, so I know what was surrounding it. If you if you weren't there, you look at it and you're like, "What is going on? Like, what's right. that?" It, it was a tiny little room. That yeah, took, right. It yeah, was so. It was, it was yeah. small. Yeah, very it was, small. It was small, and then it was also like, you know, it was it was kind of a simple task what they did with like you know the strobe lights. It wasn't that complicated and yet it looks so just like a lot like, of thought was put like, into it exactly exactly yeah, I love it it's such a good one okay this is another ballerina photo love this one yes. is this is this Nicole's sister I forget that's Juliet Brown she's from Juliet, Colorado, yeah and she actually I believe right now is she she just came she's home but she is working for the um a dance school in Paris 
Mm-hmm. Right now she's a professional ballerina. Yeah. Yeah. So she's a professional ballerina. Um, and she was interviewing during all this time. Mm-hmm. And that's right in Brant Rock. Wow. And that picture is hardly touched because you know me in editing as well. Yeah. yeah. I I barely know Photoshop. I still don't know Photoshop. Um <laughs> I just, we just lucked out with the clouds and I think I just darkened the sides a little bit, but, um, I love that picture too. I love it. Everything with her, like in the middle, the clouds, like awesome that day. So awesome. I love it. And that I actually, I'll go back. I'll go back. (laughs) I posted a picture of that on my Instagram story. I think the other day she was jumping in front of a car in Bay Rock. I don't know. If I, I saw that. I saw I'm like, that. I don't know if I can get in trouble for this or like ruin a professional ballerina's career, but I'm like, jump. Oh my God. I saw that, Patty. And I was like, cause you used to, I remember during the internship, you used to say like you wanted someone to go across 139 and like stop the traffic. And I think that would be the coolest thing if you were did. To did you not see the video? No, I know I did. Oh. I did. That when you did post a video, I was like, stop it. She did it. She did it. <laughs> I did it. I'm like, one of these days, I am going to stop traffic on 139 with a. Oh my God. Um, and it, it just happened to be the traveling dress I had it that weekend, Thanksgiving yeah. weekend. So, so and it was snowing. It was perfect. I love oh, it. That's this so picture. Awesome. This is so cool. These pictures this are picture beautiful. Stops. Really? Oh my gosh. So, okay, what's the story behind this one? So this girl, Caitlin, um, she lives in South Boston and she called me, um, I, I met her actually at a happy retreat in Vermont, a wow. woman's happy retreat in Vermont about, I think it was like a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. And, um, I just loved her. She was awesome. She was authentic. She was just so cool. And, um, I hope you don't mind him telling the story, Caitlin, but I know she won't. She was actually planning a wedding mm-hmm. and she was getting married in Ireland and I was going to Ireland that October. So I was like looking at castles for her and all this in Ireland. And yeah. anyway, long story short, she, um, this contest came up for Ink Magazine and she called me and she's like, I need a few headshots for Ink mm-hmm. Magazine. I'm going to apply, you know, to be the cover girl for Ink Magazine. And I was like, headshots. I'm yeah. like, come down and see me. So we spent a whole day together and um this is the garage that i am now in i wasn't yeah. then i just always <laughs> so now this is actually my garage um so this was the very last shot we took i'm like let's just do a smoke bomb just for some effects yeah. send it in with your head shots yeah. your tattoos and um and she made it to the very end wow. and they were like i think if i am not mistaken almost 17 rounds Wow. And she was like number one in her category for a long time. And um, so I'm like one proud of her and two proud of the pictures because they were super cool. And I, I printed one and sent it to her just for, you know, just because I was so proud of her for like throwing herself out there. Yeah, that's you know? incredible. That's such a cool, I love knowing the story behind it. And when I first saw it, I was like, this is sick. I mean, the way that she has her arms up in the air, the smoke bomb, the tattoos, like all of it just like comes together so beautifully. Is it? Yeah, she, she's so, so cool. cool. I'm like, just give me like, we got this shot, you know? And yeah. And did that, I'm I like, that. that's it. That's like, it. She made it really far, so I'm proud of her. So yay, Kaylin. Love it. That's so cool. Okay. Ooh, something just popped up. I need to move it. Okay, this is another ballerina photo. Love this one. Yes. Did you? Where did you take this? Actually, now that I'm Arizona. Up, so cool. No, I I can't take credit for like the lighting and the setup because this mm-hmm. was a class as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this was a rain machine. That's um, so cool. And we, you could sign up for the classes. So I signed yeah. up, and so you get twenty minutes to shoot. So this mm-hmm. was one of my shots. Um, so cool. And it was, they were shutting the water off because I wouldn't stop shooting. So they were <laughs> shutting the water off, which is why there's only like three lines of drip. So, oh, so like this, there's always a story behind my pictures, as you know. Yeah. So that was, <laughs> that was so a story funny. on that one. And I'm like, I could have just shot all day, photographed all day. She was amazing. Her name's Kim. Um, and I, 
um, oh, her name's up there actually. Yeah. Um, so you can follow her on Instagram. She's amazing. She's a mom. She's a dancer. She, oh, she was just so cool. Oh my God. Such a beautiful photo. And is this the same class? Um, it was a different class. So they had different dancers. Mm -hmm. So you could, you know, as I said, you could sign up and then like you get 20 minutes of shooting and every dance was a little bit different. Um, and this one, I, you could photograph their, um, tag Mm -hmm. they had their badges and I, I couldn't find her. So I just tagged, um, you know, how do So hopefully they got it to her, but she was amazing. That's so cool. It was so fun. And, and, and just truth be told, it was so slippery. Like these dancers fell, oh. they got up, they slipped. Like if you can see in the first picture, like with Kim, like that ground, it's almost like a trash bag in water. Like, yeah, it, yeah. it's, it's frightening. These girls like legit put their life on the line. That's <laughs> crazy. That's yeah. awesome. That's so cool. This is another beautiful one. I love the colors in this photo with the, with her leotard and the color of the um, green in the background. So um, this little girl, Natalie is, I think she's 11 or 12. She's mm-hmm. in the Russian ballet. Wow. She lives, I believe in Colorado. Her mm-hmm. name is Natalie. Um, and you could check out a ballerina or a dancer. Mm-hmm. I don't want to categorize models, ballerines. They're dancers. They're athletes. They're they're amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you could check out. They literally be sitting in a room all day waiting for someone to like go up, sign them out. You could take them on um, the hotel grounds, the resort that we stayed at. Yeah. And you had to have someone with you for safety purposes, mm-hmm. and um, and then you had to return them back to the room. So we got an hour with her. I got wow. to shoot her for an hour. So I just took her around the resort. And, um, and of course I was late and they came <laughs> searching for me and for her. So you, again, <laughs> Chloe, you worked with me for a while. So, you know, so I was like, they literally came looking for me. Like, where is Natalie? Like, cause you have to bring her back in an hour and you just lose yeah. track of time. So this is yeah. one of the photographs, um, so cool. I took and I actually submitted one of these, um, in a, um, the professional photographers of Massachusetts in their competition, and I, um, it merited actually. So I got wow. an award for that picture. I think that's was, incredible. One or, one or two, two. I forget, but it was it was her anyway. So yeah, she, she was an amazing, incredible. polite, beautiful girl. Oh, that's awesome! That's so yeah. cool. And this is the last one here. This is really cool. So that was the rain machine again and another one I signed up for. Um, And they, uh, I I don't know how they do what they do. I know. I'm looking at this. I'm like, how is that happening? (laughs) I actually though put that little beam of light in there. You would be so proud of me. I know. That is so cool. You know me in Photoshop. I don't, I I think (laughs) I even did it on my phone. I don't even know. Um, but I love that picture. And I don't believe they know each other. So they have to dance together. And they, they may know each other, you know, through the dance world, but um, they're not actually dance partners. So um, they just put them together to, you know, show us how to like pose or, you know, with yeah. the rain machine. So they have to, like, as uncomfortable as it could be, not knowing someone having them yeah. lift up like that, you know, just yeah. work together. And they were amazing. They were amazing. And, awesome. and these male dancers, oh my gosh. So cool. I would, yeah. Like I just need to find more of them around here. Yeah. Oh my God. It's a, just a, it's a fabulous photo. I mean, it's so, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So, so, you know, I have my husband on like the whole, you need to make me a rain machine. You need to make yeah. me Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> He's like, okay, Patty, okay. He's I like, know. right right after the infinity wall and the sprung floors, I will get on the rain machine. I so love those, it. Those are two other terms that I learned too. I, you, as you know, I've wanted an infinity wall forever. So hopefully that will be coming this year, um, which is for dancers and sprung floors so they don't hurt themselves. 
Mm -hmm. which is like a huge thing for dancers. Yeah, yeah. But it's super expensive. So clearly right now, it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> but it's going to happen. I'm going yeah. to. Happen. Oh, I know it's going to happen. Patty. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. I love it. Oh, my God. There will be a rain machine by the dumpster. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. That's so awesome. Okay. I have one. So um, I have one more question for you, and that's, how are you staying creative during this time? Like, what are you doing during this time that's allowing you to be creative and even maybe move, you know, forward in your business, maybe in a different way because of what's going on. But um, really just how are you taking this time, you know, to, to, to grow as a creator? I'm doing Chloe's creative challenges. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, you inspired me um, through your Chloe's creative challenge. And just to take pictures around my house of different yeah. things. So that was cool. Um, I don't know if I missed your video one because that is one I really need help with. Have you done that one yet? I haven't done it. I'm going to. That's going to be uh, this coming week. Okay. Yeah. I am going to do that because I Yay. need help with that end of it so badly because, as you know, we're a virtual world right now, Yeah. Um, which is such a struggle for me because I am, I thrive on human connection and yeah. that's yeah. my business. Um, so I did do the Front Steps project, um, mm -hmm. which another photographer in Needham started. Um, yeah. So I kind of hopped on board with that. I wound up doing 52 houses in the South Shore. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm staying busy That's with that. Good. So it's just taking pictures of families, you know, on their front steps, however yeah. they are. They can dress up. They can not dress up. They can be in their pajamas. They can be super, yeah. they can, you know wear a little black dress, whatever they yeah. want. Like people have been so much fun. So I've been doing that. Um, I also, in the midst of all this, before this started, was planning on moving into the studio. So that happened mm -hmm. April 1st, mm -hmm. um, which was really hard because I didn't have help because I can't have anyone here. So yeah. I didn't have help. So it was really hard moving everything I have, as you know, yeah. how much stuff I have. Um, <laughs> and it, literally it was right around the corner, which was good. So I would like pack my Jeep, drive around the corner to the, like, where the dumpster is, unpack it. Yeah. Back. Um, my son did help me. Um, and my husband helped me after work. Fortunately, he was still working at the time. So I've been mm -hmm. kind of decorating the studio, trying to figure out like what my ne next steps are. Um, yeah. I'm rebranding. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, you know, I've been taking classes mm -hmm. um, via Zoom. Uh, I took a ballet class on Xfinity. That's so awesome. <laughs> um, I've been that. doing Zoom conferences, just kind of learning, uh, you know, just doing things that I have put off forever. Like yeah. um, when I had, did the internship program, remember I kept yeah. saying I want to do the constant contact, but yeah. we would try to start that and then we would wind up in like Rhode Island at Wikitura yeah. or we would <laughs> do something else. So yeah. um, I have actually been working on that. Um, you know, I found this really pretty website, Flowdesk. You should check yes. it out. It's like, that's so cool. it's really pretty. So I'm like trying to put um, some pretty emails together yes. and just kind of stay in touch with my clients and reach out. I try to reach out to like three people a day, whether they're yeah. clients, friends, or a local business and just say, hey, how are you? Like, yeah. you know, um, awesome. just because I think it's important, you know, I, I thrive off human connection. So that end of it, I do struggle with. Um, yeah not having anyone in my studio, but it's given me the time. I've repainted every single piece of furniture I own. Like, so I've, <laughs> I've learned a new craft of like refurbishing Love furniture. It. That's <laughs> awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So, That's and, so cool. Yeah, and just spending time with my family, my husband and my 21 and my 23 year old. Um, yeah. We've done a lot of puzzles. Love it. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, <laughs> my family and I we need to get into puzzles. It seems like you're doing really well. And that's awesome. And staying yeah. creative and, and still, you know, learning. And, uh, and that's just awesome. And just you very much is there. Yes. Well, thank you, honestly, Chloe. And I'm not just saying this. Like, you are such an amazing young woman. I'm so glad that, like, the thank chamber you. had the internship program. Like, I believe timing is everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. and when I did that and I met you and Nicole and, and now I follow you on Instagram and, and you have these Chloe creative challenges and I'm like, I, am doing, I have to do this. She interned with me if I did that, you know, so I'm looking forward to the video you. one because I so need help with that Chloe and I, Oh, don't worry. I'm getting into it. I'm, I can't wait. Yeah. There's some stuff in the works. I'm trying to like make the best of it and stay positive. And believe me, yeah. I have my days where like yesterday was when, like, I just sobbed all day and looked yeah. up, you know, 
we all have those days, you know? So, yeah, and I yeah. think right now there's, people are trying to be as authentic as they can. Mm -hmm. you know? Definitely. And, um, Definitely. And you are an amazing young woman. And I just Aww. love you. Lisa. Thank you. Right back at you, Patty. Thank you so much for talking to me today, You're welcome. Patty. Have a sweet, awesome rest of your day and week. And I'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> All right. Thank All you. Right. Thanks, Chloe. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Whew. Wow. That was a lot of inspiration all at once. Isn't Patty just amazing? Her energy, everything about her is just incredible. And just during that conversation, I felt so inspired and so ready to go and create. She is such an awesome person. And I really, really hope that you took something away from our conversation today. Whether you're just inspired to go make something right now, take a picture of your dog, I don't know, start a business. Um, to update your social media. I don't even know. Smile more. Anything. If you took something away from it, I am so happy and I am so honored to be part of your journey. Just a little, a small little bit part of that inspiration. Like that's really incredible. Uh, Patty is just such a wonderful person. I'm so glad that I got to chat with her today. So thank you to Patty for talking to me and being such an inspiration and such a big part of my photography journey. Mwah, you're the best. Follow me on Instagram at Haven. Follow Patty on Instagram as well at Patty and Photography. Check out her work on Instagram. She is incredible and she's just so awesome. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Also, I'm about to go buy an iced coffee. So, again, didn't have the coffee. I keep, I keep missing, I keep missing that part. I don't, I don't know why I keep forgetting about that piece. It's in the title literally in the title. I'm gonna go get a coffee now. And yes, I do have stuffed animals and I am not ashamed.